double decomposition reaction in this reaction we have two reactants forming two products carefully observe a b combines with c d a b combines with c d to form so listen and carefully understand this is a cation this is an anion here also this is a cation and d is an anion now a combines with d so you'll have a product as a d and c combines with b we generally have a process of writing down the cations first and then the anion for our easy understanding so right even if you look at the colors that have been kept here blue is combining with red blue is a cation red is an anion so these two are combining here green is a cation yellow is an anion so they are undergoing a double decomposition so double in the sense both the reactants exchange their anions and cations and form to form two different products like for example this is very common in uh, most of the reactions where you have sodium hydroxide made to react with hydrochloric acid gives you so uh, hyd hydrogen is positive cation chlorine is anion sodium is anion hy hydroxyl is anion sodium is cation hydroxyl is anion so the exchange so what will happen you will have sodium combining with chlorine and hydrogen combining with hydroxyl and forming a water molecule so if you carefully look at the equation here acid reacts with the base to form salt and water that is another reaction where you can come across copper sulfate made to react with sodium hydroxide so copper is electropositive sulfate negative sodium electropositive hydroxyl negative so they combine and exchange their anions and cations over here you will have copper sul copper hydroxide being formed along with the formation of another salt that is sodium sulfate so you'll have a double decomposition copper sulfate combining with sodium hydroxide to form copper hydroxide and sodium sulfate in the first example we have taken up an example of an acid and a base to undergo a reaction we have a soluble salt that is sodium chloride and water in the second example what we have taken is copper sulfate made to react with the base that is sodium hydroxide and they have undergone the exchange of cations and anions you come across a pale blue color precipitate of copper hydroxide being formed and a soluble salt which is sodium sulfate so the precipitates are generally formed so most of the time what happens is when we study these type of reactions where you come across an acid reacting with the base to form salt and water you call them as a neutralization reaction when a salt is made to react with the base you may also come across an example where a salt is made to react with an acid so in such a case you always come across a formation of a precipitate a clear colored precipitate it might be blue since it is copper hydroxide it might be white it might be reddish brown so depending upon the compounds or the cationic effect on them and you come across a soluble salt such type of reaction the double decomposition reactions can be classified into two reactions one is neutralization reaction the second one is pre precipitate reaction